All right, so we're back for another consummate opinion. Yo. Uh, Liege here, of course. Joyce. Joyce, Joyce Liege. Doing? Yeah, Liege, Liege, Liege. Um, interns here. McBride's here. No Obviously. show. So uh, he's no show, we're down no our fourth guy. Uh, but tonight we have a special guest. Uh, it is Black Silk from the Deadly Rival Roller Derby, where we'll be doing our first show on uh, August 24th. 24th. Mm -hmm. Hello, Black Silk. Hello, it's great to be here. Nice. Uh, let's see. Um, we will start with the what's new with you. As usual. Uh, okay. We will start with uh, Black Silk being that she's newest and on this couch. Yeah. See, it's not about being new. It's about being on this couch. Yeah. Oh, is it? Um, so That's the starting position? Pole position? <laughs> it is the pole position. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I used to love that game on Atari. Great game. I, I have to admit. Fantastic it was a great game. game. Frustrating um, game. So uh, are you going to touch the electric tennis racket, you said? Heck yeah. That's okay. the spirit. So uh, what we'll do. I think we found a winner. Oh, can I? Um, we will have you, while you're doing the what's new with you, we will have you touch the tennis racket while you're speaking. <laughs> okay. um, this is the challenge. You can either do it with your knuckle or the tip of your finger. Um, but do the tip of your finger. Yeah, tip knuckle of your finger is a pain in the butt. Um, the intern so did nipple. It's always an option. Intern did do nipple. Uh, but uh, you can start with uh, what's new with you. Go ahead. Everything, obviously. Everything. Okay. Um, just randomly. Not yet. You got to no, be talking. Yeah, start talking. Yeah, start talking. Okay. Thanks. So, um, all right. Well, I guess the most exciting thing that's going on with me right now is that I'll be done with my AA in psychology. Oh, wow. That's exciting. You're kidding. This is nothing. No, no you got to get, you gotta get your finger in there. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that'll do ah, it. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay. That's smart. That's yeah, that was nothing. That. But then something <laughs> happened. Okay. Um... Okay, so I'll be done with my AA in less than two weeks in psychology. I've been going to FIT. Uh, I haven't stopped being in school for, like, over two years now, and I'm so tired of it. And I plan to take a break and then uh, pursue something forensic psychology, a BA in forensic nice. psychology. Uh, cool. Possibly maybe then pursue a master's. I like to work for the FBI or Homeland Security, a job that makes CSI? Yeah, I can see you being that chick. Um, Oh, what is it, like Abby? Abby? Yep. Yes, you would be the I'm sure Abby. I'm she's never heard that. Oh, see, I get this stuff all the time. Uh, like, oh, you, lo you must love C CSI. Or the chick like on that. NCIS. Or uh, what is it? What's the one? I Criminal Minds? In NCIS. You could be the Criminal Minds. Bones. I'm just naming off. Bones, yeah. yeah. Yep. I don't, don't know if there's a chick on Bones. You don't want that to be your nickname. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know if there's a chick on Bones, but I know the one on it. Bones. Criminal Minds is Some, savvy also. Something like that. Well, I don't want, like... I don't watch a lot of fiction murder stuff. I like the real murder yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's way more fun. I like 48 Hours and Snap. Snapped is a good one. Snapped first 48, I like First 48. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah. Very real. And well, like, it seems real. Who knows? Yeah, like Killer Couples, and I almost got away with it. Like, that's the stuff I like. And I really like uh, severe crime. Like, serial killers are cool. I really yeah. like Wives Who Kill. <laughs> oh, yeah, anything about, like, Joyce. women murdering husbands, girlfriends. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I, th I don't think Joyce or Liege is safe. <laughs> no, Le Liege is safe. Liege, yeah, Liege has, uh, has, has security. Stay on your toes. So, yeah, I definitely want to have a career where I have to carry a gun and deal with crazy Rotten criminals. scumbags. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to keep things interesting. I'll never I get hate bored. It'll be something sure. new every day. <laughs> you, should, you should work in Pasco County. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I see it every day. That's a career, career zone. I know. You would have job security for sure. I, you know, I would, especially like if I was a probation officer here. Like I thought about that too, and I'm like, oh yeah, oh no, I'm like no, I'm gonna go big, go big or go home. So where's FIT? FIT is Florida Institute of Technology. You got it. It's in uh, Melbourne and Melbourne. Uh, I do all online because I cannot stand all online. All online. See, I'm the opposite. I like I like lectures. I like like going no, there and being told what to do. If I sit in a classroom for more than like yeah, a half antsy. hour, I get I get crazy. Mm. I'm like, no, I can't be here. I I can see that. <laughs> so I just like be at home, do my own thing. It's great. So I do that and uh, so okay. almost done. Almost done two weeks ago. And you'll have your AA? Yeah. Officially. That's cool. So I got that going on. Um, also, I got a little uh, a little bit of a modeling gig going on. Oh, yeah? Are you really? Yeah. Not like fashion runway modeling. Um, 
Are any of you familiar with the magazine Pinup America? I have seen it. Okay. I have not. I should have brought it. I, I thought about it, but I forgot. Well, anyways, it's out of Tampa. Uh, one of my derby girls, she uh, is friends with the owner of uh, Pinup America. And she's like, Silk, you have to get in on this. You totally have to look. Yeah, you should um, not hesitate doing that. That would be a big deal. Well, you know, finally uh, I got in it. And uh, uh, a few weeks ago we ha- they had this audition because they want to get together a group of girls called the Vintage Dream Girls. And um, they're looking for a group of girls, very classy, nice, pretty ladies that definitely... Um, vintage. Very, yeah, vintage. Have the whole pinup look, the whole pinup persona, lifestyle that can really carry themselves well. And um, I'm officially a vintage dream girl, along with a few other selected girls. Well, that's pretty awesome. It's very new. It's very new. And, I'm uh, Googling vintage You're going to have like, your own spreadsheet. You know what? I, I don't know where this can go. I that's don't know. That's really cool. There's a lot of good opportunity behind it, and um, I'm excited for it. So uh, tomorrow I have a little photo shoot for a place called Biff's Burgers. That <laughs> sounds very vintage, like a 50s diner. Yeah. yeah. It's like a hole in the wall, very nostalgic. So it may be in a calendar, so I'm really looking forward to that. What month are you? Uh, I'm going to be in the calendar. Oh, okay. We don't know yet. The pictures have not been taken yet. We have to know <laughs> what, but, what uh, month you are. <laughs> yes, yes. So looking forward to that. And um, so I got that little modeling gig going on. So, yeah. Do you want to go into Derby? Not yet. No, not yet. We'll talk about Derby later. Okay. So that's about it with me. I mean. Cool. It's my life. That's all good news, too. That's that's the most exciting. Something very new. Something new. I played pool today for the first time. Oh, yeah. We forgot about that. Yeah. Made your first shot ever of your life. Yeah. What ball was it? You gotta remember. It was not striped. Okay. Uh, was <laughs> solid. Joyce has a problem with remembering which balls to hit. Yeah, I apparently can't make the right. Can I at least say that like, I coached her on making the You were there. I shot. saw it. You she, helped her. Yeah, I definitely owe a lot to the intern for helping me out here. That's what she does. She like, helps out. How to hold the pool stick and everything. It, it was good. It was good. So. Same with you, intern. We're gonna skip me and just go to you. I yeah, you got to go first because she always steals your stuff. Yeah, right. we're going to go to you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can come back, Ma- loop yeah, around. Yeah, make sure, make sure you talk about the YouTube comment. Um, oh, yeah, that's good. Let's see what's new with me. Uh, tomorrow, no, I guess not really new. I, we're looking in the future now. Uh, hopefully having some type of air situation oh, fixed back here. Thank God in heaven. Mm-hmm. Supposedly. Uh, well, I know I'm getting it done tomorrow. Whether that will remedy the situation, I don't know. I think well, it, it will assist. can't hurt. But... Um, I mean, Who's coming no, to do that? Um, a guy named Bush Licker. Sounds uh, legit. Mike Calta show. Uh, his name is Scott, but uh, he's known as Bush Licker. Bush Licker. Um, got the That's <laughs> who I want in my house fixing my stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. You know, I met him on Craigslist. He seemed like a really stand-up dude. Let me tell you what the front of his truck says. Uh, you know how people put words, salt life, and yeah. you know, stuff like that. Cool Well, things. the front of his truck says, my Dixie, D-L-X-I-E. Wrecked. My dick. Oh, w, like, so it's like. It's cunning. It's yeah, very my cunning. Dixie wrecked. That's what the front of his truck says. Is what it is spelled backwards so that you can see it in the mirror? No, 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 no. It's okay. no straightforward. So not that cunning. So yeah. what if I found this guy and I was like, hey, babe, you know, um, this guy, Bush Lickers, <laughs> going to so come over, <laughs> check point, out the air conditioning? That would, that would be a problem. Yeah, if, that wouldn't uh, be. That's not how you want to lead off a meeting. At what point would it not be a problem? If his name wasn't Bush Licker, I yeah. think. would. Well, we'll go with Scott. He's, yeah, coming, he's coming by to uh, do some AC work. Uh, let's see. What else is new? I uh, talked to and hopefully might have a future guest uh, in uh, Matt Grothy. Mm-hmm. Uh, football. Former USF football quarterback. Mm-hmm. Actually, really good quarterback when they made it up right. to, I think it was number two in the country that year. He was a quarterback. I don't know, um, but I'll shake my head and nod with you. Yes, that <laughs> sounds legit. You don't like college football? I don't like college football, no. Can't get into it. I can't. <sighs> I can't get into any college sports, to be honest with you. But a lot of college teams are better than the Bills. Side note to yeah, that, I really, I really like your that. pink that's headphones. Thank you. They're looking good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. We had uh, a couple people uh, kind of back out for the night. Yeah, but a bunch of flakes. We will flaky get them flakers. I hope time. you're listening, you avid listeners, you flakes, you flaky flakes. Yeah. I ran out of descriptors there, Be so I nice. just went with flakes. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Uh, anything else new? Not really. Got nothing else right now. The hole is still fixed. Hole's still fixed. Mo- lawn is still mowed. Lawn still, yeah, I got to work on that in about the next week or so. Show's still got a four-inch dick. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, well, that's that, his. Got nothing. Nothing new. That's his new nothing thing. New. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll catch on quickly to that. Okay. Uh, intern, order. your turn. Anything new? She's playing a that game. That was pretty intense. Intern, yeah. your turn. Anything new? It's like Dr. I Seuss. don't like intern. I don't know. Where did that come from? DeGaff? The gaff said, was yeah, like, oh, let's call our intern. The, well, yeah. Oh, we come up so that was your, your bartender? Name. Yeah, bartender. Yeah. Tender? We could call you Tender. Don't call me Tender. Tenderoni. I mean, I'm the I'm liege now, so I mean, you in know. your own mind. Oh, really? What am I in your phone? My yeah, love. You're you're liege, oh. like Hitler was elected by the people. <laughs> yeah. It happened. Yeah. No one is happy about it. <laughs> 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 All right. So, what's new with you, intern? Um, Tenderoni. Just is you know, have it? this gigantic you know weight on my shoulders trying to decide about you know if we should move are you guys thinking about moving Where? remember the kuwait talk yeah that we to oh that country? thing again I yeah about that so it's time. kind of all on me whether you know it's a good idea or not it's probably not gonna happen. say no <laughs> i love when you whisper into the mic so i can't hear it oh i can't hear I it either but i know what you said oh she can hear i said it. <laughs> i, I said say no <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Yeah, it's a really, really hard decision because they have such a simplistic way of life that That's in one, lot of money one end it would be easier. Yeah, and it's a lot more money. But also, it's like, sure, I'll give up all of my rights to live in another country. Yeah, you Sounds shouldn't fantastic. go. You, you shouldn't go. No. Yeah. Even if you are married. Like I would that. have to get a whole new wardrobe, first of all. No. Like, well, you have plenty Kuwait. of sheets yes. and towels. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. roll around. Some drapes and yeah. some stuff like that. Roll around in the curtains. Just buy a works. bunch of Halloween costumes at Walmart on October, you know, the right. day after Halloween. November 2nd. There you go. Way there cheaper. Go. Well, I would be the person... Um, who, you know, accidentally, just out of habit, I would go to grab Joyce's hand in oh, public I and be deported. Cut your filthy hand off. Right. And I'm somebody who doesn't care about other people in, you know, including... Well, that's romantic. Including Air Cab 006. Oh. I mean, oh, wow. I don't care... We're, we're referencing YouTube, YouTube comments yeah. here. This could be a Whose battle. dick you put in your mouth? Oh, I don't wow. care. It'd probably be his wife's. He's married. <laughs> So I would have trouble respecting their, you know, religions because they're forcing it upon everybody. And I don't agree with that. Religious But rape. it's something that I'm going to talk to, um, I guess, this woman from UK who's handling yeah, we have the a, situation. Uh, a recruiter who's a mediator, huh? Yeah. A third party, if you will. Recruiters are usually known for being honest and want your best interest in mind. You know, I am a recruiter. Right next to did me the, is that's a recruiter my job. Did the job. sarcasm seep through the microphone, or did this <laughs> yeah, new filter good. filter that out? I, didn't, I wasn't sure about that. Yeah. Other than that, I uh, I have nothing nothing else going on at the moment. How about you, McBride? With me, I can tell. You, I'll tell you exactly what's new. I had an epiphany today. Mm -hmm. I realized. You know what I learned? From I love that kid? word. It's a good word. Epiphany. Yeah. Epiphany. Especially when you pronounce it wrong, you say epiphany. It's even epiphany. better. Um, one thing that changes when you have a kid is that having quiet time in your mind is gone. Mm. doesn't exist. There's never no children's theme songs in my head anymore. Like, mm. I am doing anything. It's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. All the yo-ho and the Neverland Pirates yeah, all yeah, day yeah. long. That and the Care Bears, Care Bears. Ooh. All day long. All day long. I haven't seen Care Bears in years. No, there's a new one. It's all like computer graphics and CGI, and it's, it's pretty good, actually. For a kid's show, it's pretty good. That's another thing that changes. You start thinking kid's shows are good. Like, I'm watching it, and the kid's sleeping. Oh. Yes. I really got to yeah, see yeah, how this yeah. plot develops. Into the, you know, I want to see how this ends. I need closure. <laughs> um, what else is new? Oh, school is officially starting Blech. next week. I'm what? going. You're ending. I'm going. I never left. When uh, when do you go? The 18th is the first. Was well, it day like a uh, like Monday going Tuesday. to school? Yeah, I, I was telling her earlier. I like lecture. I like going. I'm doing one class that's blended, so it's mo some lecture yeah, and then yeah, yeah. online stuff for the rest oh. of it. But I, think I had algebra two or or uh, co no college algebra was blended. I can see that. doing a math class online. That yeah. makes it's mostly self-taught oh, anyway. It's great. I mean, all my classes, my upper division classes, and, and you stuff, have Google there too, were, sitting right uh, next to you. <laughs> they were. Um, they were online because yeah. I don't want to listen to someone talk to me. See, I get that. I, I understand where you guys are coming from. I just like, like I've explained this to you several times. I never went to school back in the day mm. to get a degree. I just went into classes that I, you know, gave a crap about. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I just like being in the class, being taught by a teacher. I don't know. It's, it might be weird. I might be a nerd. I just like that. I, just I hate it. Mid- I'm on the it yeah. Tired. I'm on the other end. I much prefer doing my classes online. I did do. I went a year. That's all I lasted so far. I have about <laughs> what is it like twenty more credits till I'm at my associates. All I right. just put it on hold because I have no idea what I want to do. Mm-hmm. But I did like American government online, and it was awesome. But then I went to. And uh, again, the teacher you get. V- very much impacts whether or not you enjoy going oh, yeah. to the class. But then the uh, after American government, I don't even remember what the class was called. Um, East it West, was East West Synthesis. It was any humanities class. Once a week for three hours was Holy the only man. class that I could do. Yeah, that's a lot. And I wanted to kill myself after every single class. And it's just like sitting there trying to absorb that much information in a three hour period. So the only long, long classes I take are like art classes. It's terrible. Even like I can go science. sit in a drawing or painting class for two hours because I mean that's. Well, you got stuff to do. Yeah, you, you're doing stuff. Well, like in anatomy, you could. The options that I had was, um, you would take your actual like lecture class, mm-hmm. and then you would have your hands-on class. The lab. Your lab, and the lecture class was normal hour and ten minutes or something, but the lecture was three hours. It was like three so that hours should be and ten the minutes. The opposite, you would think. You would think, but I mean. Well, that's where money comes in. Labs are more expensive. Yeah, yeah it was terrible. You got to buy all those little dead pigs. But then the lab was only one credit, while the lecture was three. But the lecture was more than or less than half the it, like whole time of the class. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I don't it get wasn't that. fun. Maybe there's a class you can take that would make us understand why that's that case. The <laughs> last class I took in school, other than I had to take two classes during my like uh, underwater basket weaving, my last <laughs> like five or six classes for my actual degree, were, was microeconomics. Two hours sitting in there, oh, literally. About I failed I that. To, like take a pan and stab it in my eye. Like mm-hmm. I couldn't handle it, and that's I was just like, I'm done in class. I'm done. <laughs> Only online. Only That's online. it. Yeah, it's funny you say that because I actually failed my microeconomics class because a couple weeks That's funny. into the semester, my teacher's husband died. So she had to leave the class. So we had an entire new teacher come in. Okay. Going, He was on a whole different page. Um, and page I just... Two. It, I didn't we were keep on up page with one it. and he was on page two. That's a nightmare. Yeah, it just it didn't work out for me. It's too bad when your classmates didn't die and you get the, the A, right? Brutal. I mean, it was it was Pasco Imagine County. Imagine if that was a real thing. How many so. people would murder their students, their roommates in college? You know the whole. Oh, is your roommate in college dies, you get an A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Is this what? true? I, yeah, it, I don't it, it know is. if it's it, true. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily true, but I think it's it, it's something that people it's always almost said like sympathy it. points. Yeah, you get yeah. sympathy points if your roommate dies. So if you're in a class and a kid dies, they're like, oh, we feel bad for everybody because you're going through I don't know if it's emotional any kid distress. Or I think it has to be your roommate. Well, no, I was in American government, and okay. before I went to school one day, 9-11 happened. Uh, so American that's, government that's was a. literally the easiest class you could have ever taken because that's all we talked about the rest of the semester. It yeah. had nothing to do with, oh, you know, as government that's went along. But it was, for that, your that's learning what it was. Experience. Yeah, that, that's all that happened. So well, it's an easy class, yeah. let me tell you. Easy A. Very easy class. Gosh, I think the easiest class I ever took was college algebra. Wow. That was probably the that was easiest arrogant. class. You just lost some fans there, I think. <laughs> yeah, I hate anything with math. It stresses me out. No. Really. Uh, pre-calculus, I don't even know how I passed with a C. Like, that <laughs> class was <laughs> probably <laughs> impossible. I thought I failed, and I got the report card, and it literally was like the heavens had opened up. <laughs> like, I had a C. I was so excited. The heavens <laughs> opened, and a river of brown came through and shat upon your dreams. <laughs> Now, we were going to start today with uh, the uh, Robin Williams, mm. some Tony Stewart talk, some stuff like that before Intense. we get to uh, the rest of the, of the stories and Roller Derby, which mm-hmm. is, of course, important. Final two weeks, topic. right? Two weeks? Uh, yeah, it's two weeks. About a week yep. and a half, yeah. Mm-hmm. 12, well, 12 days. Uh, but we have to start every week the same story. Dead Got baby. Got one in Utah. Oh, really? Another Utah one? baby dies after being forgotten in hot car. Hello. Mom claims tragic accidents stem from change in routine. All right, so here's how it goes. A young baby has died in Utah after she was left alone in a sweltering 90-degree parked car by her distracted mom. Mm. So here's what happened. Wait, let me, see, let me see this picture really quick. They look normal. Yeah, they look like pretty Actually, decent. Actually, if you look at it like this, if you look very quick, the sleeve and hand look somewhat like a male genital. 
What are we looking at? Hold on, you'll see. I you got to look super quick. I didn't see it. Did you? Yeah, see it really does. Yeah, that yeah, looks like a that looks like a big old dong. The baby's hand. Baby's hand and arm. Yeah. You of. have heard the expression. He's working with a baby's arm down there. Yes, yeah. I have, but not. I don't think here. I'm sorry. That guy really I is. I haven't heard that one. Now this lady, she's a manicurist. She took the youngster just one month shy of her first birthday oh. along for a ride as she dropped off her two young sons with a babysitter. Wait, wait, a manu a manicurist. She does nails. So that's what they're called? Nail tech. A manicurist. I've never heard of a Nail manicurist. Does, she, does that mean she how doesn't do two, pedicures? How have two men heard that? Do, no, wait. Does that mean that. she doesn't do pedicures? A manicurist. Only. Is, yep, that's it. She manis. specializes yeah. in fingers. Hands, hands. That's it. All right. So on arriving home, she was forced to park down the street because of construction. Okay. Desperate to use the restroom, she rushed back home. Desperate. Then she forgot about her tot, believing that she had put her down for a nap. She put her down already. It was only at 1 p.m. she realized her tragic mistake when she returned on to her to the car on her way to pick up her sons. Paramedics were called, and Skaya, that was the daughter's name, was airlifted but was pronounced dead on arrival. Did you say her name was Sia? Skaya. Skaya. S K Y A. Sorry, I was just being heartless. Skaya. Sia. Oh. Oh That's bad, wasn't it? See what you did there. Bad. I feel bad for even saying Who, that. Who's this? That's oh, the sister, the sister. Yeah. So every week we start out with a story like this. It okay. never because unfortunately out. every week there is you know, that story. It, it, you're right. And I couldn't find one this week. I was I was searching. I had to dig and deep. And so all I did was type in toddler dies in car. <laughs> it's everywhere. Boom! Right here. Did you mean before. Florida? Yeah. Is that what Google said? It was August. <laughs> 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 did you mean Florida? It, that's usually where they're at. Yeah. But uh, uh, this time, not so much. It was in Utah. Strange. Represent Pasco County? Yeah, equally as hot and, hum and just not baby in car type environment. No. So, uh, McBride. I would know. honestly rather hear of parents leaving their children at home when they go to the six month old, left at home while mom went and shopped. Good. At least the kid's not dead in her minivan. It's at home. Yeah, yeah it's kind of, yeah, it, I mean, unless. Put them in the in fridge, something do crazy, something. It's a little know? bit difficult to keep them cool. Get harm. I would like, it would be cool if they. Not cool, but I mean interesting if they did a poll of all these people who are leaving their children in cars, kind of what their life situation is. You know, are they married? Are they single parents? Are they stupid? What? What drugs are taking? What? Yeah. yeah. Are they doing drugs? Um, How many children have they killed? Did the they past? mean to have those children? Do they have a no perfectly have normal children. family? No one you means know? to have children. If anyone who had children meant to have kids, there'd probably be 700,000 people on the planet Earth. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I actually want it. We were trying. We weren't trying, but we weren't preventing. So I guess technically that's So then trying. you were trying. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Hey, so do you want to get with the uh, yes. Christy Mack? Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I'm McBride sure you guys have heard about this. Stuff, uh, quite so I'm, you guys familiar page. with the uh, porn star Christy Mack? Negative. No? no. I, don't know. Okay. I don't know names. I don't know their names. I just know tits and asses. That's all I know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll you know it. who it is, well, Joyce? Here's a picture of her. Yeah? Does. Yeah, do you? He has, really? He has a penis and the internet. Of course he knows who she is. Christy Mack, you probably see She's all tatted up. She's kind of She's, she's pretty really good pretty. Yeah, not cute. anymore. Yeah. I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to get another picture. So, yeah. anymore. Yeah, so she's dead. No, she's no, not dead. She's still alive. Thankfully, she's alive. So she's dating one of these, you know, no neck having douchebag MMA fighter guys. Oh great! Who has been known for beating people up in public and getting arrested? He has a rap sheet. I mean, she has a really big rack. As long as a porn star's penis. Good. Yeah. So, his name. She's pretty. Has been changed legally to War Machine. So oh, that's his name. Legally yeah. changed. Legally <laughs> changed. The last Ocho time Cinco I read something, that was his legal name. So they were truly in love. You can tell this because she got a tattoo that says "Property of War Machine." Ooh, and then he Not got smart. Mac tattooed across his throat. Now, see, he could flip that around a completely different direction. Yeah, but Big how Mac, is, I'm like a truck. Ugh. But how is she going to flip that around? She, I, she really she likes Marvel comics. Machine. Iron Man's her favorite comic book wow. superhero. There you go. Yes. you got to be creative. So I don't know if they found him yet. That's the interesting part of the story. So basically, he comes home early one day. Uh, just like a realized surprise. he's in porn? Yeah. No, he's been in porn with her. Like he's okay. been her star he's been her co star. Anyway, allegedly comes home, um, finds her with another man, um, you know, beats the hell out of her. What about the other guy? Yeah, there was another guy. I'm trying to find the original thing and I lost it. Let me let me go back here. Oh. I lost it. I can't find it. 
Anyway, he beats the crap out of her. He like he punched her. He got a kitchen knife out of the kitchen and was like poking her, stabbing her through the hands and cutting her. <laughs> he cut poking all of her, her hair. Off. Go on the go on the Twitter. I have the the, the thing she knife. she posted. You can I, do it I on saw, here. Do it on here. I saw the pictures of. Is that what you're looking for? The yeah. Pictures? No, it's there's a picture of her. She finally said something on Twitter about what actually happened. Anyway. It's so ridiculous to read that um, seven arrest warrants issued for War Machine yeah. in Las Vegas. That's his name, War, War Machine. Vegas, imagine that. That's like if an unknown uh, character named himself uh, like 21 and 1. Or Liege. It's weird. Something like that. <laughs> anyway, so he beats the crap out of her, um, like, to a pulp. There's pictures of it. That's why I wanted you to show on the Twitter. I, I posted the pictures. He, like, cut all her hair bad. off, cut all her hair off with a steak knife, stabbed her, said, I'm going to rape you, made her take a shower. And everyone's thinking, well, how's he, like, how do you not know this is going to happen? You're dating a guy. Apparently, she came through and told people what really happened on her Twitter and then posted pictures of herself. So they had been broken up, I guess, for months. He had moved out. Okay. Moved to another state. He comes back out of nowhere and finds her sitting on the couch with some other guy who's a friend. They're not having sex or anything. Okay. Goes nuts, beats the hell out of the dude, makes the dude leave, and then just proceeds to beat her into to this. So on the on, on the, the check the, the Twitter, Twitter right now, check this out. There's a ton of pictures that pictures she posts. Pictures of Christy Mac. Same chick that I just showed you pictures of a minute ago. Wow, she's unrecognizable. Yeah, it's bad. Swollen face. Very swole. Yeah, Not his his like charges it. are um, one count battery resulting in substantial bodily harm. Oh, he's been in prison several times. One he's count regular. battery by strangulation. Two counts battery with substantial bodily harm. One count open and gross lewdness. One Lewd. count assault with deadly weapon. And one count of threat with force. Yeah, so he... He has beat her in the past, and he has been arrested for beating people without reason in the past. Mm. But anyway, I, I, you know, it was, I, I guess they still haven't found him. She managed to, there's, on the Twitter, it shows her response. She tells yeah, what yeah. really happened, and it says that um, she somehow managed to escape. Yeah, with 18 broken facial bones, yeah, missing ribs, teeth, noses. Broke all the bones around Jeez. her eye sockets. Her, one of her legs is totally messed up. But anyway, yeah, not good. That guy's, I, if he hasn't killed himself, if, here's where War Machine is. Body waiting to be found. That's, that's what I think is going to happen. Probably. Hopefully, okay. too. Yeah. Dude deserves to be dead. So yeah, what so about, uh, what do you think about Robin Williams? Aww. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's, it's, I, can't, I can't say that I'm, you know, it's the end of my, my life. But He's like a legend. Oh, he's great. Mrs. Well, Doubtfire. Now he's truly I a legend. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fake boobs catching on fire always got me. Oh, that'll be a good uh, segue into another story that we have. What? Mrs. Doubtfire into the next. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, we'll uh, save that for later then. The. What surprises me is the fact that he was always so happy, so outgoing, but oh. I guess. Well, he was an actor. True. There was a picture of him outside of, like, an ice cream shop. I don't remember what it was. I just saw it at work today. But he was really, really skinny. And literally, I walked by. Oh, with the gray hair, gray beard. I yeah. I have seen that yet. Yeah. My boss goes, yeah, it was all that cocaine. That's all I heard when I walked yeah, by. Yeah, a lot of drugs. He had just alcohol. got out of rehab. 2006, touch up, I think. Whatever he called it. 2006, he went back um, in. About a month ago or so. And then in June, no, April, I think, somewhere around there. It wasn't very long ago. I mean, he was 63 years old. He probably he had sat there with, and was he like... He has dealt with addiction his entire life. If anyone, yeah. if you followed his career even slightly, you know that. Yeah. Well, I mean, at 63 years old, I can imagine somebody sitting there being like, there's no point in living anymore. I'm 63. No, I mean, at that point... Yeah, yeah he's a see, millionaire, but he's probably bored with his life, with everything he's gone through. I mean... Yeah, and his three children. I mean, it's a possibility. No. See, but how can you say that this week and then talk shit about kids last week who've been bullied into suicide? What does that have to do anything with you Robin Williams? You just said that a guy who's rich and a movie star and has a family and is 63 years old and is a grandfather, I would imagine. Okay. I, I would assure. Right. Hold I on. Can, okay. Continue. You can say, oh, I can see that he's bored with life and, you know, he, he's dealt with drugs and depression, so you might as well kill yourself. I didn't say that he might as well kill you himself. You said you could understand I it. said I can understand because... A lot, I don't know if you knew this, but a lot of famous people kill themselves because yeah, they fame have... And, fame and money doesn't mean you're happy. 
Okay, so you're contradicting what you just said to me then. No, I'm not. I'm saying that oh, okay. I don't understand why you can say you can understand why someone like Robin Williams would kill himself, but then you were basically talking shit about 12, 14, 15-year-old kids who have killed themselves because they've been bullied their entire life. Completely different situations. Um, so I'm going to disregard that because I don't even want to get into it. Um, and again, I'll state a lot of famous people. I don't know if you knew this, but they kill themselves. Oh, yeah. Um, like you said, he struggled with addiction for many, many, many years. Kind of like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. So I'm saying somebody who struggled with addiction for that long, um, he's had a very full career. I can understand if... Maybe he was happy on the outside and with the press and everything, but maybe he was miserable in life. Maybe he just didn't see a point in it. Yes. He okay, was. so I don't understand what the argument is here. I just don't know why it's so easy for you to understand that, but not. It's like the gaff all over again. But not. Yo, 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 hold up. Time out. Time, time, out, out. time out. Time out. Time out. I don't know. I just don't know. You were very quick to say, I can't believe that a kid would kill themselves over bullying. I just can't believe this isn't a bullying situation. Know, this was a 63 year old man. Suicide, suicide is, is, is the common denominator. denominator. Okay, but this was oh, a 63 year old man yeah, who has lived his life, made a decision on his own, and didn't like write a suicide note. I killed myself because my fans were mean to me. It wasn't like that. I mean, it's he's very also 63, unfortunate. 63. He's not 12. Okay, yeah. What I was saying last week is that kids can't deal with that kind of stuff. If their whole life has been... It's the same exact thing. That kid is 14 years old. His whole life, their whole life has been sadness and misery. It's the same thing with Robin Williams. Their whole life? <laughs> See? Well, how can I mean, you, how can you so easily discount years, that? But that's a lot of their life. We're talking about a kid. When you were 12 years old, I don't think you were thinking, well, you know, I've lived 12 years, I mean... This, I've only been bullied for three years. It's only a quarter of my life. I mean, it's not really that bad. I mean, I get kids being dramatic. All right. Anyway, moving I on. So. I was I just think, I, I, I couldn't believe. I was my, my only point was that I can't believe you could be have that mindset about a kid killing himself over bullying, and then you can understand. Why this isn't about bullying. So in, so in the Mrs. Doubtfire sentiment, okay. we got one here from Tampa. Moving along. I'm gonna go make another drink while you discuss this. <laughs> I've done it again. <laughs> man dressed in woman's garb slams vehicle in a Tampa retirement home. I oh, saw right. this. Yeah, man suspected of being a drunk driver while wearing woman's underwear <laughs> crashed his car into a retirement home overnight. You see that picture too? No. Okay. I, uh, do you have the picture up? Yeah, I do. I can't believe that person is alive. The car. Oh, I just saw the picture of the the guy, like his headshot. I like haven't seen that yet. I'm interested oh, yeah, in seeing the, that. Yeah, I I don't think I have one of the actual car. I see the hole in the, the wall. Car I do see the car is oh, wrecked. Yeah. That's the car. Oh my goodness. And now here's the guy. Oh. Let me see. <laughs> oh. Okay, you know what? Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. He, I thought the car looked bad. <laughs> yeah. So he was wearing women's clothing. Notice he doesn't he look was. injured. He just looks bad. One night. He was. Uh, let's see. It's the man driving the car was 20-year-old Rico Antoine Jones, who was well known to police, also known as Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> you always, you was, always want that to be followed in a, Elias, it really was. in a news story after your name. Diamond. Jones well known has to many police. Arrest for prostitution, according to police records. Uh, police say Jones is wearing only women's underwear, a bra, and high heels. He was able to climb out of a wrecked <laughs> car Looking and run good. away from the crash. So this guy got out of that car. Unscathed. Yeah, wow. that that was bad. And he could run in heels after. Uh, That's yeah, impressive. He's currently uh, yes. at Orient Road. So weird. Yeah, strange. So um, hmm. how about Tony Stewart? Before we get to yeah, the next that, stories here. That's another one. So, like, okay, now, have you guys seen the video? I posted the video on. Have you seen I, I have seen no, the video. No. Come on over yonder and check this out. I shall. Do you, so, you know what story we're talking about? Nope. Uh, Tony, Tony Stewart, Stewart, he's a well known racer. He races cars, sprint cars, NASCAR, stuff Didn't like that. Didn't he run somebody over? There you go. There you know what we're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, so, his, uh, his uh, contracts with Burger King aren't looking too good. Isn't he the spokesperson? No, I can't imagine he's going to get taken off that stuff. No, yeah. no way. It's not going to be a Tiger Woods thing with like no, 19 it, Oh, t Tiger Woods. Is a completely different character. Tony Tony Stewart He's a already nice guy. has that badass. Come look at this. I want you to make your decision. He kind of has that badass mentality. Like he has that. He's a man. I, am, I don't care. He's a man's me. man. Well, well as far like, as a guy, sound like a country song. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is the actual video. So, over the weekend or last week, Tony Stewart was in a sprint car race. 
And I guess they had been, you know, messing with each other for most of the race. You know, I mean, that's the thing with racing. Probably, they bump yeah. into each other. So Tony Stewart is the reason he he wiped out here. If you guys haven't seen the video, check out the Twitter and the, the Facebook it page. It's on there. It wasn't that bad of an accident. It wasn't it that wasn't bad. Here's where it gets weird. I didn't think you had to tell people during a race on a racetrack to not get out of your car and start walking on the track yelling and pointing at people. It's not a good idea. He's mad. Yes, he's mad. So here he comes up with Tony Stewart's car. One guy barely misses him. Tony Stewart, not so much. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Dead. 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 Oh. Now, okay. this is where it gets controversial. Okay. If you watch the video enough times, it kind of looks like Tony Stewart revs his car and turns towards him a little bit. There was an excuse uh, People are saying for something that about he might that. have done it on purpose. Well, if like you when look you at go the way to turn the, your car, the cards slide. I mean, that's part of the race. It's like kind of like drift racing on dirt. So, and another thing is, if you look at the cars, you can see that they have these big giant wings on them, yeah. and the one wing on the right side of the car comes well far down, mm -hmm. and it definitely hinders your ability to see on the right side. Yeah. So. Moral of the story is, even if Tony Stewart did it on purpose, don't get out of your car, dumbass. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, like, why don't people understand? E e now, okay, NASCAR, they're going 180 miles per hour. Easy. They get out of their cars in that to throw their helmet at Stupid. other people. Stupid. Well, even that. It's a matter of time. Even with that, they don't get out of their cars and walk directly nah, sometimes in they front do. of the vehicle. Do sometimes they, they do. do. Yeah, they're dumb. It, but, I mean. But in that, they do swerve. Because they see them now. One of the one of the things I heard from the Bubble Love Spun show was that the right side of sprint cars you cannot see up. You can't really see. So it's almost like a huge blind spot. Now, if you watch the video, it has him kind of going down, going back up real quick, and coming back down. That but that's could a be turn. In that blind spot. That's a turn, though. Yeah, it could be. That's a blind the turns spot. in the racing. Yeah. These guys, they drive this racetrack. And they're in their same line ba virtually the whole entire time. You oh, know, sure. it's very repetitious. That's one of the reasons I don't watch. It's pretty boring. But, I mean, they're doing their thing. It's, it's, it's you know, repetition, doing it over and over and over again. There's grooves in the track. Everyone has – it's kind of like an unspoken rule in racing. You stick to where you're racing. You don't – you try not – that's why he got pissed is because Tony Stewart clipped him because he got in his way, and he said, all right, well, F you. I'm taking over. But – um that's one of the things is everyone has their path, and you really only veer out of your, your groove when you're overpassing someone or something's wrong and you're trying to get out of the way. So, I mean, that's another reason. I mean, he probably didn't see him. I mean, they're on autopilot. Yeah, you're not I, looking I, for pedestrians on I, a racetrack. I mean, I can't imagine that's true. something you're looking for often. I can't see there being charges in this. And no, if there, there wasn't. Are, there haven't been so far. If I don't there think are at They said I don't think time, there's going to be. I just can't see them being pursued well i can't see them being pursued mostly because the kid walked of directly in of front car. of these high speed moving vehicles yeah he was yeah, asking it, for it, it yeah it's it's almost like jaywalking and saying oh i got hit yeah, well, but i was what? crossing the street guess what stupid you should have been there yeah reminds me of a csi episode you you'd be into this <laughs> guy's super drunk driving home from partying hits a dude kills him <laughs> blows him up all over the car Okay. Lying about being drunk. Cops are pretty sure he did it. Mm -hmm. They're trying to find out who did it. Anyway, they find him. Dude finally admits to doing it. And he go the guy telling him goes, well, guess what? We found a suicide note, so you're off the hook. Whoa. Really? Yeah. That's so he basically he, he got off with it and, you know, started feeling like a piece of crap because he killed someone and lied about it and hit it. But then the cop came over to his house and was like, well, there's a suicide note, so it really wouldn't matter if you were drunk. Role of story, because honesty, he, best policy. He yes. walked in front of the car on purpose. Yeah, he wanted to die. The dude wanted to die. Wow, that's scary. Now, uh, most recent thing I just posted on the page. Black Silk, you would have you have deciphered that, and you would have figured that out with your school skills. Uh, I, I posted the uh, article for the uh, man dressed in the uh, women's clothes. Good. Okay, diamond. Title, Tampa's Mrs. Doubtfire, <laughs> dot, 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 <laughs> too soon, question mark? No. Mrs. Doubt too Driver soon. is a better name. <laughs> too soon. It was a little too soon. God, come on. Like, just because he's wearing high heels and bra. He's not He's not a nanny. I wouldn't no. trust him well, with my be. kids. He could be. So we we judge. judge not. Five more yeah. stories. It's Florida. <laughs> There's another one here, speaking of Florida. Oh, we're popular. Uh, this isn't good, though. No, we're problematic. <laughs> That's the problem. It. Police say man charged with murder hit one-year-old with belt. Oh, no. Oh, is this the guy who Police just got convicted? Times? Uh... Mm, no, this was the other night. Wait, he murdered the child with the 
belt? He beat yes. the hell out of it, yeah. He killed okay. it. Uh, let's see. Uh, detective said he confessed to beating the boy with a leather belt more than ten times oh and dropping God. him on his head. A one-year-old. A one-year-old. Was he even one? Have you know. ever wanted to punch a one-year-old? Yes. Would you, you ever no. do it? Do no. Not, <laughs> not act out like that. That's, that's, that's malicious. Yeah, Imagine Tampa. beating anyone with a belt ten times. Now picture a little baby one-year-old sitting there. Yeah, that's right. You need to go to prison for the rest of your six months of your life before you're put to death. This is similar to one of those uh, like stories from last week that you had. Which one? Oh, the, oh, the grandmother. The kid. Yeah, that was yeah. bad. How is this similar? A little kid's dead. A little kid. Oh, How do you stab yeah. a six-year-old to death? I mean, yeah. that's... Oof. I mean, every week we start the show with... A I mean, I think that one story. was... This might become our thing, Consummate Opinion. Murder show. I don't... Maybe we should, maybe we should lighten like it up, children. tone it down a little bit. Right. Talk about unicorns and mermaids. Maybe that's go. what we need to do. Unicorns are deadly, man. No, you ever seen Legend with Tom, Tom Cruise? I have not. Mermaids are deadly. Yeah. Well, mermaids Actually, are you know, evil. I never... Mermaids okay, and evil. this is bad. 31 years old now. Okay. And until we just recently watched... Um, the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I didn't know mermaids were so devious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, really and it's bad. in all folklore. Good. No. It's yeah, and news. everything except the Little Mermaid. Mermaids are very, like, evil, devious creatures. I kind of remember them being slightly devious in Little Mermaid. No, no, I'm sorry. Peter Pan. Yeah, the Peter new Peter Pan. Pan. Well, I'll tell you who was murderous in Peter Pan was Tinkerbell. Oh, everyone she sees Tinkerbell. Oh, dude. Everyone Are we sees Tinkerbell as this. No, 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 no. Oh, the old animated oh, show. Oh, okay. We're talking old school, day one Tinkerbell. Right. Everyone sees her as this flying around, cutesy pootsy little tink, you know, tink tink. Go back and watch that movie again. She tried to have the Indians murder Wendy. Like, that was her plan. Yeah. When, when she was realizing Peter Pan liked her more than Tinkerbell. Because she was jealous. Oh, my God. She wanted her to die. She tried to kill Wendy. Like, go watch it again. This is a kid's movie. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, but the mermaids, they actually try to... In, They're trying you know, to drown the they, her. Yeah, they try to pull you under, and they drown you, yeah, and the they sailors, kill you. The sailors, the lonely sailors, come, look at my titties. Yes, come yeah, swim with me. And then they... Know. Yeah, see? That, she knows what I'm talking about. And then they <laughs> take you down to David Jones locker and drown you to death. And this is something I wanted to talk about uh, last show, but I did. Naked I men? It's like, oh, I'm, what? Naked men? Is it? No, no not naked men. No, Ethan's of history. not on this time. Um, we... Ethan. You didn't find that funny at all? What, naked men? No, no, no. What Ethan. I said right after that? He said, no, Ethan's not on the show. I said, Ethan's oh, not I, on the I, show. I was still processing. Oh. Like, did he say Ethan? I did. <laughs> he couldn't have said Delayed Ethan. Delayed laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, speaking of which, he wants to come on, and he said he's getting ready to be emotional this next time, which oh, I was trying to get him to do last time. This he wants gonna be to be good. emotional. He's going to be He's going to come out. So <sighs> he's going to do it. He's going to CO on the CO show. <laughs> Maybe you can, uh, you can show. show him what you showed me today after... We took a shower. Oh. I don't think that was today. That was That'll yesterday. definitely get him to come on the was show. It but it was yesterday. No, because I, I walked away. He goes, oh, you go he goes, oh, I'm so excited. You just have to look. I'm like, I'm not going to look. He goes, no, you have to look. So I look in the bathroom. Was it beautiful? And he has was it, it tucked dope? in. He's was standing up straight and has it tucked in. So you were doing the, the Buffalo Bill. No, 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 no. From All behind. the time. No, from All behind. the time. No, from behind. He does it. We'll be in the kitchen. Would you fuck me? And I'll turn. We'll be in the kitchen. I'll turn, and he'll just be standing there, arms out, everything. Yeah, well, I do that on occasion. All right, so let's get back to this. Um, and I'm we're we're driving around somewhere. Was it Saturday? What day was it? We're driving I don't around. Know what we're you're listening talking to. About. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a cat named Mo show. And they come up with a news story. Mom calls cops after discovering son 15 was watching porn on living room TV. I freak out in the car. I go no, because I wanted to talk about it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was not paying attention. I was I was getting something ready to make the show funnier. Ma <laughs> Mom calls cops after discovering son 15 was watching porn on living room TV. She called the cops on her son for watching porno. Yes. When she came into the room unannounced. Yes. Living room though. He was a, public he, room. He's stupid. You don't do that in the living room. No. You only do that in the living room when you know your parents are at work and there's no chance of them coming home. No, when they're like out of town. Yeah, even that. That's yeah. even better. The dog's not looking. Yeah. <laughs> He's too busy helping. That's oh, <laughs> now wait a second. See, th this gets... Uh, they didn't say this. Okay. What is it? Shavonda Goleman, 40. Sh is white? In South Carolina. White, white no. lady? No. no. <laughs> Told sheriff's deputies that she returned to her Spartanburg home yesterday at 3 p.m. with her two-year-old daughter and a client, 
Gallman is a real estate agent. Ooh. Her son was in his room when the trio arrived. So they were like showing the house or just talking about houses? Talking I, about houses. It doesn't Imagine say Imagine being part. showed a house. And here's the living room. Well, if it's oh. their house. No, it's oh, their house and no. she's a real estate agent. Maybe they're selling they their house, so maybe it's... Well, no, here it is. Upon entering the home, Gallman's daughter turned on the TV and there was porn on. Gallman told investigators that they immediately turned off the TV and took the child out of the room. While watching porn remains legal, <laughs> Gallman explained that she legal. called like 911 because someday. her son has been having behavior issues. Uh. She added that her son, or she wanted to file a report to document her son's behavior and due to her daughter being exposed to porn. So she turned in her son due to the two-year-old being exposed Exposed. Exposed. I'm sorry. Exposed. of what? pornography. Venom? No, Venom. What? Is you. Exposed. Exposed is pretty awesome. Exposed. I think that should be a real word. Exposed. Like when it exposed. When a young child is exposed to pornography. Exposed. <laughs> this well. is something that like I can picture this woman turning her kid into like on Asylum on American Horror Story. She would bring him in. Be like, hey, fix that. my kid. Why would you, maybe, all right. Well, you got to take into account that maybe there is something seriously wrong with this kid, and this is not just him watching porn on the couch. <laughs> He's 15. Something's got to be pretty so crazy for your maybe mom to Maybe he masturbates, He's too. He's a 15 year old kid. She's maybe just a, wacky. Maybe he's a chronic masturbator. Maybe, maybe he's Baptist. crazy. Maybe she's maybe a Baptist. huge Jesus freak. I could be. There you go. And that's, that's, not that's where this is leading. That's exactly what it is. I'm just going, I'm Carolina, just going based off. Of South Carolina, like, church is a big deal. They, oh, they, yeah. they hold the snakes and they're like, oh, it's not going to bite me. Didn't that. the article say something about him having problems? Said that he's been having behavioral issues. Okay, yeah. so behavioral so. issues but what kind? I want some could details. be a whacked out crazy child. I'm not judging him. I'm just saying it could be. I am too. I'm just yeah. saying. You don't sound it. Let's hear both sides. Wait, of the wait. Story. Where did this kid get porn from? It was on TV. It's yeah, probably Playboy Channel. Skinamax. Yeah. It could be. I yeah, mean, it's, it's that's something that you have Skinamax to pay extra exists. for, though. That's something <laughs> that you can't just not slip on. No, no, okay. On on Bright House here, we could sit there and we could pay 4.99 to watch any movie yeah, or whatever like okay that. I mean, you, all you got to do is click like the A or the triangle button twice. So it's her fault for having the resources there for him to buy because you have to have a credit account set up or at least the allowance to be able to buy movies if you have I that type of if, if it's an auto draft then no oh buffalo bill yeah uh we're getting copyrighted for sure they're not going to play this entire episode now no you can still play you just can't make money off of it yeah. right. oh. i'm still on the early stages don't click any ads on this video this is what he says, oh, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. It's the dog. Well, I don't want to go to the next story. The next story is pretty good, though. Pretty stupid, but pretty good. Can't even focus. Yeah, look, it's such a such a good song. Isn't it like a weird, it's like a weirdly good song. It is. It's catchy. Oh, and then how about when he starts looking into the camera and starts singing along with it? Like, <laughs> you can't hear this song without picturing this. Am I right? Like, everyone in the world. I can't now. The all avid, I picture is All Chris. the millions I'm of avid choice. listeners <laughs> right now are just picturing this right oh now. The dog. I love the dog. The poor dog. <laughs> put the lotion on your skin. I mean, it's just as simple as that. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't want to get hurt, skin. just put the it's lotion on. It's on the skin. Yeah. Put the lotion, it puts on, the lotion on the, the, the skin. skin. Or it gets the hose. All right, so next one. Google Street View Car in Wrong Way Crash. That is awesome. So a Google Street View car that was traveling in the wrong direction on a one-way street crashed into another vehicle last night as it, as it attempted to make a U-turn. This was in uh, Little Rock, Little Rock, Arkansas. A.K. home of Bill Clinton. The 6 p.m. accident hey. on a Little Rock Street left the Google car with significant damage to its front end. The other car, according to its driver, was fucking total. <laughs> <laughs> that's, see, that's the honesty like you, you like to hear in news reporting. Yep. What? What kind of, how bad was this accident for the car to be totaled? I tell you what, I bet you he's glad it happened. He says, if there's someone you want to get into a car accident with, it's Google. Oh, yeah. Oh, Guess who oh, just yeah. made a million dollars? Except for life. Oh, my back Man, I, wanna, I can't. To, Is I'm that the guy who got hit? That's the guy who got hit, yeah. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. He's Both not going to do anything with that money. Machine, cops I tell you what, I see the Google car driving around, doing new map updates. 
I might do the swerve and the swerve and jerk right in front of it. Have you, you ever know? gone on Google Maps and just looked at random areas? Yes. Some it's of so them are fun. Good. There's one that I found that looks like a guy died. I think I don't know if there's I've said this. There's some websites tracks. devoted to that. Yeah, yeah. The crazy Absolutely. stuff you see. Well, on this Google one Maps. is on like a dock, and it looks like there's just blood um, oh, dragged no all word. the way down yeah. onto the dock. Ooh, nice. But they say it's just the type of wood, and that the wood was wet, and when it gets darker, it looks like it turns blood. into a, a murder crime scene. Yeah, basically. Uh, the Google-owned car was a Subaru Legacy. Mm. Uh -oh. So, Black Silk, what about Subaru? You got anything about Subaru? So, not a, not a Subaru? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, speaking of Subaru, back in March, I'm sure uh, a lot of people are familiar with oh, the show Tosh. Good Pino. segue, Joyce. Good segue. <laughs> uh, Leash, but it's Very it's smooth. Okay. Sorry, I... Didn't didn't no, it was, it, it was too good. No one's used to him doing segues that well. That was really good. Bravo. That was good. Bravo. I appreciate that. Okay. And we just ruined it. So <laughs> <laughs> Back to square one. Okay, okay. Back in March, Daniel Tosh did um, a contest where it was called Dan and Anna Subaru. You had to submit a video of yourself doing something. He, you don't believe he can top. He's, al he, he's always like, oh, I'm the best at everything. I can do this. I Some would say, be funny. Yeah, and you'd be funny, make him laugh, something to impress him. And um, the winner would get his used Subaru. His, literally his. his he yeah, owned. like That's his cool. personal car. His personal. I remember this. Yeah. I remember. Okay. So I was like, huh, that's really cool. You know, like I'm a big fan of the show. Um, I love it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to give it a try. So I'm thinking, what can I do? What can I do to impress Daniel Tosh? So I was thinking something with roller skating or roller derby. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. But n uh, I actually have reduced my waist several uh, six whole inches uh, with through corsets. How long has that taken you? Like how many uh, years have you been? Six inches? Six. I used to be 28 inches around. Now I'm tw naturally 22 inches. Hold on. I just came back into the room and heard six inches. So <laughs> obviously I know we're not talking about show. Yeah, right. Show is yeah, not, not involved in okay. this. It yeah. is 150% uh, him. So. <laughs> I, uh, I naturally reduce my waist through corsets, six whole inches. So wow. I'm 28 inches around to 22. Are you wearing one now or is this no, you? Not. This is me. All right. This is you. Uh, so I was like, oh, I, can, uh, I have several really small corsets that I can lace myself down significantly so i'm like you know what so it is a step-by-step -step thing kind of got to ease into it with the corset oh yeah i've been doing this since i was 16. yeah i, I can imagine day one isn't oh well, let's shoot for seven inches <laughs> <laughs> no it's just you just start you know slowly and then like you know after a few months like i started to see my waist uh naturally reduced like by an inch I'm like, oh, this is really cool this is actually working so um i have several really small corsets i'm like let me put one on and videotape myself lacing down as much as I can. So I got one of my smallest corsets and I put it on and I laced myself down to 19 inches. 19 and inches. I was like, hey. That's like a bowling ball. It's, it's really small. Smaller than a bowling ball. And uh, I was like, hey, Daniel, top this. My waist is 19 inches. So I submitted it. I, it, it was the first time I ever tweeted or hashtagged. I was wow. very excited. I'm like, am I yeah. doing this right? Breaking and new ground. Apparently I did. Apparently I did. So um, I submitted the video, forgot about it, thought nothing of it. I'm like, it's probably just going to be going to the sea of a million other videos. Uh, a few months later, about two months, a girl from work messages me on Facebook. And she's like, hey, are you on Tosh.0? I'm like, oh, my God, there's no way that that video was aired on Tosh.0. So I immediately go to the DVR because I, I went to go watch it Tuesday night. Something happened. My dad had company. I'm like, ah, forget it. So I, I ran to go see it and I'm, um, you know, skipping through it. And then he does a little part where he shows the semifinalists, the people that impressed him the most. So eh, about a minute and a half into the video, there I was. I'm like, oh, my God, that's so cool. Like I was so oh, I couldn't believe awesome. my face was on Tosh.0. Oh. It's a big deal. I your face and your waist. My <laughs> that's right. It's a double whammy. That's right. So I was really, I was really excited. I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, I impressed Daniel Tosh. Anyway, so um, I wasn't notified, obviously, about uh, the video being there. I mean, if you know, I'm submitting it, I'm obviously giving up the rights to it. Yeah. And um, uh, a lot of cool people, a lot of dumb people that submitted things. I mean, like trillions of videos were submitted. So I just was so shocked and surprised and very. Yeah, happy. you got to imagine there's 
a plethora of videos being submitted to Daniel Taj. Love that word, plethora. Yeah. Good word. You have good verbiage tonight. Oh, wow. Thank you. He's making words, using fancy words. You know, I try to speak good when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> this my real voice. <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyways, the, I, I was in contact or anything, but I thought it would have been really neat to go out to California and meet him and get the car and everything. But uh, the person who ended up winning was actually somebody who stuck their face in dog poop. Oh. Yeah, we in saw that. That's so all you bad. gotta do to win a car? That's not a talent. I'm, that's Tell me you wouldn't impressive. smash your face well, in some whole, dog crap. The whole thing was nana nana, boo boo. Stick your face in doo doo. Stick and your head in doo doo. That is it. And that's the guy good. did it. That's and cunning. That's what I back that. That's what uh, won the car. So No offense to your waist, but I'm going to give that to him. One got a tattoo of Tosh on his ass. Yeah. And his dog. Just wanted him. And he didn't win. He didn't win. But well, the guy who stuck his head dog boo-boo. shit did. Yeah, that, I, uh, that you can never we watch. See, he went actually. funny, gross, and literal, which are all things that Tosh loves. Yeah. yeah. See, we were watching it, and uh, we DVR'd it. Like, we uh-huh. DVR'd just about every show that we yeah. watch. And uh, we're sitting there. I'm watching, and I stopped for a second. I rewound it. No, we, he was just watching. He even see. He was like, "Babe, it was like, was that, was that silk?" It was. He's like, "What?" I'm like, "On the TV." Like, I swear, I just saw her yeah, on so TV. I rewind it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and looking. I kind of like sit up and like. Yeah, look, I remember seeing like that. The TV gets closer, and I'm just like. Looking I just remember watching, thinking, like, really? "Ouch! Why? Ow! <laughs> just ow! It's gotta hurt." Uh, it's actually, pretty intense. It it was uh, actually I had uh, like all my I had derby that night and all my friends were like all my derby girls were like so you were in Tosh we saw you in Tosh like yeah and then you know everybody at work was you know telling me about it uh, one of the so they weren't guys. just your derby girls anymore that's your entourage now because <laughs> you were famous at that point yeah my, my friends um, derby girls co-workers uh, one of the kitchen guys he calls me uh, it's up 19 inches I'm like hey it's a nickname so. guessing they don't call Joyce that <laughs> so that's really funny and uh, customers at work. If you work, could hear the face Joyce is making right now, it would be <laughs> loud. <laughs> uh, customers at work actually were like, you're in touch. But I'm like, I, I was. So people were recognizing me from it. I'm like, oh, wow, that's really cool. So I was, it was exciting. It was you cool. should jump on that and make some money with your YouTube channel. Like, I could. You, no. You definitely you could need because, to. Uh, okay, we got the guy who here. comes Let me rephrase work. that. You should jump on that and let us make some money off of your YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Little team up the, here. There's a guy who comes into work uh-huh. who buys the, the girl's socks. See, that's a whole fetish thing. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So he buys stuff. socks for them or he buys the socks from them? He buys them. their from socks. Their feet. So he's a, snock, a sock sniffer, the underwear guys. Yeah, I don't know if he just sniffs them, but I, I'm not oh, sure what he does. But gross. Here's the you thing. You can imagine. How much is he paying, though? Because honestly, I would sell 20 bucks. Uh, he's you're done. Ask me. I'm done. Take my socks. It, it's close to 20. I don't know the exact amount, but it's I close tell you, to 20. A dude comes up to me, and I'm just eating at Hooters and says he wants my socks. Guess what I have? 20 more dollars. That's it. That's right. You sell them. Jizz in my feet. socks, but bro. But they're specifically the, oh, the girls' socks. Specific girls. It's specific oh, girls. Oh, see, like. that's Like he wants certain girls' creepy. socks. Creepy. With an extra E in there. Creepy. Yeah, I heard a story. Actually, I don't remember who told it to me, but one but of the girls. for your socks. One of the girls told me that somebody... Um, in her, her her course of working there, had asked to buy her bra for it was like a thousand dollars, and she didn't sell it. And she did. Okay, oh, good. Did. Thank you. And I can't remember who it was. It was a long time ago. I don't know if either of you know anything about it. No, you no, know what I you do? But if someone's point? like, "I will buy your bra for a thousand dollars," be like, "Here, done, buy, sold." Well, I know. I know. <laughs> take the money <laughs> and then call the cops. I know. Let them know that he works there. Who was offered fifty for her panties? Oh. And she didn't sell them? She did not sell them. Oh, I don't think I do my yeah, panties. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Are you kidding me? $50. That's weird, I mean, though. It's a free $50. Uh, it probably cost yes. What? Ten. It's very weird. But it's $50 for a pair of underwear. I'd negotiate. I'd be like, you want these? It's going to be at least 75 I don't know what you're talking about. 50. Sold. Be like, how much, how much, how bad? Yeah, how I, bad do you want these? I, I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. Because honestly, a dude who walks up and you say, I'll give you $50 for your underwear. You never say yes to that one. Clearly, we're dealing with someone with skewed priorities. So he's going to give you more money. No. How about 100 Done. Let's no, yeah. compromise 75. Well, then right. you're like, sh- well, I, I just I should have done 150. Yeah, I, sh- I just shipped my pants. So <laughs> now what kind of money are we talking about? <laughs> So next story, we got uh, one more story after this, and we're getting to uh, roller derby. Okay, okay. 
Sounds good. Um, this is from Puna Gorda. Puna Gorda, whatever you want to say. Punta Gorda? Means fat bitch in Spanish. This is similar to something that we were talking about earlier. Uh, how we have geckos in this house this eating all not, the bugs. This is not in Florida? I don't believe it. This is in Florida. Oh, it is? Yeah, Punta Gorda. <laughs> Where is that? They have found 50 snakes in home they rent. Oh, is that over a course this. of so many years, or no, 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 is that no, no, at no, once? This is now. No, their house is infested That's with snakes. The Florida couple got a bit more than they expected when they moved in their new rental home. Alyssa Scott and her fiance Raymond Hissler. Mm-hmm. Really? Hissler? <laughs> really? Oh, I That's how I know that the universe isn't random. There's something out there with a sense the of humor. The snakes are not poisonous, and they are small, but they present a big problem. The couple yeah. say they've caught 48 snakes in the past three months, and Slow. they have not you know gotten any help from their landlord. These guys are idiots. Why do they still live there? Open a pet shop. <laughs> <laughs> Make you it's Florida. That. People love buying weird things. Yeah, they do. Sell People them to like sell reptiles. them to intern's brother. Yeah, the intern's brother <laughs> Lizzie loves reptiles. He He's would be never more been than on. Ha- That's the name they gave him. He would be. Okay. He really likes lizards. He has a uh, what is it called? They're the. The lizards, they, they're like the size of dogs. Like, literally, they'll get up to, like, five Chihuahuas. to nine feet, like, Chihuahuas. depending it's on what the species is. Kimono dragon? Kimono, no, no, it's uh, not a... Co- it's a... Uh, bearded dragon. No, a monitor. No, not a... Yeah, it's he like a monitor. a monitor lizard. It's yeah, it's like a monitor, but Does he walk I it like don't a remember. Dog? He lets it run around the house oh like a dog. God. Monitor and lizards are, like, super like poisonous. Yeah. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this, some of them get bigger. Him. That's gross. We've talked about this, so I'm not going to go into yeah. it. Yeah, but he has one of those. He has gross. two beardies. He has now beardies. five <laughs> five leopard geckos. Oh. I fine having five leopard geckos in a in a tank. Wait but a second! Top of Don't you else. pin that on him? Two of those are yours, you creep. Well, three were mine, but one passed three. away because he passed had away. a really bad eye infection. <laughs> He's so happy. He's no his name her name, it's I'm sorry. Like you just saw Jake collect all the gold. Stop. Yeah. Her name One, was Nagini. Two. I named her after That's good, Voldemort Snake. Yes. Her she was the first leopard gecko that I ever had. Oh. What was the name of Voldemort Snake? Nagini. Nagini. Okay. Right. By the way, spoiler alert, last horcrux. Suck it, everyone who hasn't seen the movies. What was that? He, oh Nagini yeah, he was the last Horcrux. Yeah, I'm speaking Horcru- Greek. To Horcrux. You. Yeah. It's um the last. Not, it's okay. dark magic. So what happens dark is magic. Voldemort kind of split his life force into seven different Horcruxes. Yeah. So each piece kind of holds a part of his soul. Um, once I thought every single piece was destroyed. HP. I've Joyce? never seen the last two movies. Oh yeah, I just once ruined it for <laughs> you. <laughs> I mean, every I piece was destroyed. Then he was destroyed. He so was immortal, he could not basically. Die without it's basically yeah. Terminator with the Horcruxes or Skynet. Skynet's oh, still up and running. Boom. I See, I knew you. I could speak I your language you. on this one. You take Skynet down, Terminators are done. I got you. I got you. Yeah, so these people that had the uh, thing there, they've had pest control three times, but it has not helped with the snake. No, thing. has anyone ever mm-hmm. seen snakes have babies? There are no, There's a lot. Yeah, Is that's there? why. A lot. It's, it's not worth it. They have they, eggs, and there's like hundreds eggs. of them. Mm-hmm. Like Lots rats. of them. Yeah. Rats keep on multiplying. There's more yeah, rats more have more. eggs too. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> Specific uh, species. Hey, man, you seen them rat eggs you got in your back room there? You want to take care of that immediately. Fry them up. Uh, the next story I have is something that actually uh, okay. intern sent me earlier. Wow, so we have a liar. He said that was the last story, didn't he? Remember that? No, I said there's one I more won't story. Hold him against it. After against this one. Oh, okay, I'll allow it. We gotta I'll get allow it. rewinded. I'll allow it. Point. Mm-hmm. Um, you be the judge, avid listeners. A dad of boy holding severed head, schizophrenic. Oh, you guys talk. Oh, I like this. <laughs> you think? A proud father's boast accompanies an image of the U.S. Sec- Secretary of State on Tuesday called one of the most disturbing, stomach turning, grotesque photographs ever displayed. That has ever given show a four inch erection. I'm not going to uh, play the video because the video is probably long, but it's a. Uh, is this thing you were telling me about, like in turn, with the severed head? people that moved from Australia yeah, it's to a be. human severed head. Radical they, Muslims. Very, yeah, where did he get this severed Somewhere head? in Syria, apparently. They moved to Syria. It's so an Australian from Australia. Family yeah. Severed vacation. heads are a dime a dozen over there. an Australian there. family. No, they moved there to. Uh, to join the cause. Was on vacation and said, "Why would where you the Australian take a father picture? has taken his young family?" Oh, just kidding. Yeah, join the fight. I was wrong. Oh, yeah, there so you go. Wait, one more time. Excuse me, Liege. Did oh, you? Liege was wrong. 
Sometimes this feudal superior makes mistakes. I apologize. You know what? It's so funny because I feel like I've heard that more than sometimes lately. What, that um, he's making mistakes? Yeah. I feel like I've heard this more, a little more frequently. I don't know. I just, maybe I'm crazy. Can't win them all. No. You can't. I you can still that. try. So, yeah. So, the, the oh, oh, listen, you're the one that knows about it. Go ahead. Yeah, step sure, it up. Make sure. Air Cav 06 angry. Talk. Yeah, weird. You look up your brother's name and it shows some blonde chick on uh, Facebook. That's funny. Is she holding a lizard? Lizzie. <laughs> Lizzie the Lezzy. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't. I can't find Australian guy. Yeah, so they go over there because this guy is, you know, a terrorist. Mm -hmm. He's from Australia. But, I mean, his name, what was his name? Something Street. Mohammed something yeah, something. Ob obviously it was something like Kareem Mohammed. Kareem Maluoff or something. Kareem Abdul yeah. Jabbar But the kid, the kid looks like he's. The kid look doesn't look Middle Eastern Airplane. or anything oh, like that. See, this is. Yeah, he looks like a yeah, regular American kid. This is American what kid. kills me about this whole thing that's been going on in recent history with terrorism and radical Muslims and the war on terror and Islam. Go be crazy. Go kill each other. Hate Jews. Hate Muslims. Blow up Palestine. Blow up Israel. Whatever. That's your business. The thing I can't stomach about these, these terrorists and the, the Muslims is seeing them do that stuff with kids. It's like rough, training yeah. kids to be murderous and, and hate. But that's and how they learn. I know, but like it's that's just like that's. I can't think of anything worse than that. Taking a child and just completely robbing them of their normal life and making them hate-filled yeah. warmongers who cut people's heads off. That being said, I don't know that I wouldn't take a picture with a severed head, given the opportunity. I mean, that's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing, unless you live in Syria. Yeah. I mean, I think it would be kind of cool. I definitely wouldn't have my little kid hold it up for a but picture, though. Yeah. That's a bit. Here's our new Christmas card. Yeah, I wouldn't be posting about it. This dude actually posted yeah, keep it. That being your, excited. You know. Keep that for your excited. He tweeted it. Don't don't spread that around. Keep yeah, that to yourself. Yeah, keep it. Yeah, keep it to yourself. But yeah, Christmas card. I don't know about that. But that'd be amazing. <sighs> Joy to the world. Just, oh, it's, it's, oh, a it's a joke. This guy guys. is dead. Christmas my vacation. kid is holding his head. <laughs> We cut it off his body. Yeah, we know it's oh, not. Like I can keep going on that. You're, you're good. You're good. Need to do some parody songs here. All right, so so let's talk about um, August 24th. Deadly uh, rival roller derby hailing from Astro Skate. Sit. St. Petersburg. In Pinellas Park. Pinellas Park. I was going to say that, but I thought. Yeah. All right. Good try. Good try. It. I'll take it from here, though. Okay, August 24th. This isn't live, so we can edit that. It's going to sound way better afterwards. Uh, let's leave it as is. Uh, why, why change the original? We never edit it. Okay. Never. Yeah, there's no <laughs> editing here. We'd probably be famous now if we edited it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so August 24th is a home bout between Deadly Rival Roller Derbies. That is your team, right? Deadly Rival Roller Derby is the league. Okay. What's your team name? There are two teams. There are the Hot Rod Hotties, Kay. which I am on. That's you guys. And then the Catastrophics. That's good. There's an X in there, isn't there? The cat toe straw fix. Ends with an X, they doesn't it? I like it. It's names. way more intense. What, oh, no. I've seen Roller Derby. I'm, what, I, what roller Derby's told, cool. Uh, I, I told Silk we needed a uh, a roster for when we do this. Yeah, you got to give us I names mean, and not, stuff. We're not going to do a play-by-play. -play, no, no, but, but we're, we're going to be involved. We're, we're going to do a show, but yes, we will be When involved. bitches get we'll pumped get and bitches go down, yeah, I'm really it's going to be part of the show. Half time, we can get at least, if if it's no one else, just you, somebody. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm perfect. Sure, I'm yeah, sure. you want an interview. Some bring your bring your girls. Oh bring your goodness. entourage. Maybe okay, that's good. Maybe I'll Do you guys have a halftime? Oh absolutely we have a right, so bingo at halftime time. show. Yeah, we always we'll do. do Well we'll sort out the details. Okay. So what are you? Are you a defender or are you a jammer? Well, see now the thing is with roller derby is that you can be everything. It's always so you can just switch in and out? You're <laughs> always offense and defense. Um uh, mostly everybody's gonna be blocker. And but not everybody is a jammer. No, no, no. I'm a jammer. Yes, I knew you were a jammer. I can see it. I would say I'm pretty good at it. I really like it. Uh, the jammer is... Jammer like scores the points, right? Jammer scores the points. Uh, the basic setup is there's the track. There's four people from each team on the track. There's a, there's a line, jammer line. There's so only four from each team? There's four from each it team. It seems like there's so many more. Well, because they're It's big. just bunched up, I think. Uh, well, I didn't say that. She did. <laughs> Look, look, I am I am small. I There's some big I girls out there. That's <laughs> I get knocked down, but that's okay. I get right back up. Um, there are a lot of girls in roller derby that I would not want to fight. I'm just going to throw that out you there. I, they would the beat the crap out of me. I don't yeah. know about a lot, but we're, there's a few. We're tough. Yeah. We're tough chicks. So there's four from each team. 
lined up, and then behind the jammer line is a, a jammer from each team. We wear panties on our head, which are helmet covers, and we That's have awesome. we have stars on the sides of the helmets to differentiate us. Pink. As it depends. Like uh, like our colors are red, black. Oh, so it's team color based. White. That makes sense. The catastrophics are yellow and purple. So like the panties are going to reflect um, like our team colors. So just like girlfriends. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, whistle blows, the ref blows a whistle, and we're off. Like jammers. So try Ethan to would be a good ref. Oh my god. He's loud. No, I just meant blowing thing. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> See, I'm really technical when it comes to it. Wow. He's loud. And uh, so whistle blows, and then the jammers try to get through the pack. The pack is the jam- uh, the blockers. The, the blockers. Yes. So and. Your team, your team's trying to help you. Your team's trying to block the other jammer. The uh, the other team's trying to block you. They're trying to help their. I mean, it's it's chaos uh, most of the time. Organized, structured chaos. It truly is. Those are the it best is. things in the world. It is. So then. Just like sex, it's organized, structured <laughs> chaos. I mean, that's all it is. All right, I guess I'm alone on that one. But yeah. yeah I, I don't. I guess you guys Maybe are doing it wrong. You guys are doing it wrong. To each <laughs> is their own. To each is their own. Okay, so uh, the. Jammers try to get through the pack. The first uh, first time the jammers get through the pack, they do not score points. That just establishes lead jammer. And so it's like having advantage in it tennis. Is. It is. Okay. I don't know anything about tennis, but you do now. I, d- I, I guess I do and pool. So uh, the first jammer that gets through the pack, they're the lead jammer. They can call off the jam. So what I've the seen this. That's the yeah when they put their hands. They're hand doing signals. the suck it. Yeah, doing the suck it. Yes. So. Uh, and that's great. You have an advantage. Um, and what you want to do is you So why would you call it off? I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, thank you. That's a good question. You're a politician. That's <laughs> an excellent question. I thank you for it. <laughs> so uh, what the lead jammer wants to do is get through the pack as soon as possible. Get her points. Get through the opposing team members and try to call it off before the other jammer can get through. So if you bust through the defenses, uh-huh. you can call it off before she gets through and then you get points? Yes, the second time around, each j- second time around for each jammer, they get points. Okay. When they pass an opposing team member. So what's the what's the reasoning, doing the suck it and not doing this? Can you get more points if you like come around again, like well, lap her you, or something? Well, you can. I mean, what what you want to do is you want to get your points to call it off. Get your points. Try to prevent the other jammer from getting points because the other team gets points. And you, you know, you don't want that. You want to win. But let's say you're a superstar and if you you're have a, a big ego. There's a good. There's a good and bad thing about it. If you have a big ego, you keep on going. You keep on going. You could get cocky. You could get sloppy. And so is the goal to try and get back around again before she gets through? Yes. So you can lap a bitch. I, you can. It's good. Yeah, that's that's a good way to say it. Is lap. You want. I lap believe the that's other the girl. technical term. That I was is. googling okay. it. Lap a bitch. I think that's it. Good job there. So. Yeah, you want to l- try to lap her and get your points, call it off before she gets points. And But you can continue if the other Do you jammer get more points if you keep going and oh successfully absolutely. do it? Each, right. each person you pass. So what do you play to? Uh, it's two-minute jams. Two-minute jams, and whoever yeah. has the most points at the end of two minutes is the champion. Well, yeah, there's of two 40-minute periods. There's okay. the first 40 minutes, halftime, then the second four 40 minutes. And each jam is two minutes. So a jam will never be more than two minutes. Like, for example... Like, if there is never a, well, if the lead jammer g- gets cocky, keeps on going, mm-hmm. they could get a penalty. Penalty is something like an elbow. See, that's something I just learned about roller derby. I didn't know there was penalties there in the, sin, the penalty box. I yep. didn't know that. It's called a sin bin. A sin bin, yep, just like yeah, hockey. So oh, sometimes people, all, uh, uh, the three times we've been. Yes. Uh, there's people who wreck into the sin bin and almost fall like fall all well, over. It's it's literally a car accident. Over <laughs> <there>. yes. <laughs> yes, it can't happen because you want to get to the sin bin as soon as possible. If you get a major, if the ref says, "Hey, you cut the track," like your wheel went out a little bit, it's so you can't go out of bounds. You can't go out of bounds gotcha. if you cut, you know, another player. I mean, insubordination, uh, direction, um, low blocking, back blocking, um, high blocking. Breaking now destruction. What if tit you pulling, what tit if punching, well, what if you're vagina going kicking. When you do stop the jam, okay. but you're actually telling the ref to suck it. Yeah, that's you know up what? to the ref's discretion. Of the time, I feel that way because <laughs> that could be insubordination, technically. No, I mean, but at the end of the day, uh, just kidding. I was I just saying. I think that's Merriam yeah. Webster's definition of insubordination. It. It's just Sorry. a picture of <laughs> Billy Gunn just, you know, doing the, the suck moment. it. Yeah, well, you know, if, if, you, if you keep on going 
you the, the more you go, the better chances you have of getting a major, getting a penalty, being sent to the sin bin. So if you're so you basically jammer, get a penalty for being a dickhead, an arrogant showboating dick. It can happen. Don't there get cocky. Go. Don't get, stay humble in derby. Every game, I sit there. I'm like, stay humble, stay humble. And it's, it's hard to do in the competitive. Eh, it atmosphere. can be. Yeah, you get really pa- like I get really passionate. And I'm like yelling and I'm like, go, no, stop, call it off. What are you doing? I'm the same way with foosball. Pack yeah, <laughs> I bet. So if you get if you're lead jammer, you get sent to the penalty box. You sit there for 30 seconds. It used to be one minute. We changed it to 30 seconds. Say, it seems like it's a lot longer than that. Uh, it, it it used to be a minute. The last game you went to, we just changed it to 30 seconds. So okay. do you decide these rules? Like, is it house rules before each thing? Or do you this guys is, have a we league play set of rules? under the Women's Flat Track Roller Derby Association, WIFTA. That's their rules they've established gotcha. for Women's Flat Track Roller Derby. Is there a national overseeing oversight committee? Let me tell you what derby happens when oh, you, if you go in the sin bin. I, I want to know so after much. After 30 seconds. After uh, being Lee Jammer, you come back in, you're no longer Lee Jammer. Two minute jam, rough, brutal. You're exhausted. You're being hit. You're being knocked down. I mean, it's important to have good endurance. So, I mean, that's what. I mean, that's what can happen if you get cocky. You have to do two minute jam, which is rough. So, um, nationals. There are some like we're considered. I don't know if we're considered an A team or a B team. So do you guys have like we're pretty good though. Like I'm let's say, say like good. collegiate sports and and minor leagues. You have like A, double A, triple A. Yeah, we have like A, B, C teams. Easy as one, two, three. And, and uh, no, oh, there's wow. some really like pro teams. Like they're really good. I have noticed teams. Texas is kind of like the Texas opus of roller Texas and California derby. are um, really big. Um, they have it's really big. Like. Hundreds of leagues. The new resurgence state. of roller derby making a comeback is kind of Texas-based, is it not? It it is, and I would say because uh, Texas is California. the reason. There's a shout out to a band, <laughs> and um, they have they're really big on it, and they also have something which Florida does not have, but our league does. What's that? Banked tracks. See oh, what we yeah, do. Oh yeah, it's usually flat, right? Eastern part of the U.S. all flat track derby, and Bank tracks are expensive to maintain. Bank tracks are kind of like old school from the 70s and they 80s. They are oh, legit. The rails and the ESPN classic. Yeah, yeah. Like, they are yeah, legit like roller derby. So they have the bank tracks. And, I mean, it's what it, it's that classic, like mm-hmm. going into that's the roller rail. derby. That's yeah, what that's you think that's of that's when you think of roller derby. That's what you think of. You're exactly right. Like in the movie Whip It with um, Ellen Page, she is, uh, th- there's a bank track. They play on a bank track, which I've oh, never that played. Isn't that Juno? Isn't that movie yeah. with Juno in it? Yep. Yeah, I remember that. Yep, and uh, I've never been on a bank track. It looks scary. It looks fun, though. So, yeah, Texas has the bank tracks. Uh, so does California. And Don't you guys have a fund? You guys trying to build one? We have one. We purchased one out of a league in, I believe, Arizona. They okay. had it up for sale. It was al- it was already built. And it was shipped down. Uh, it was uh, driven down in a semi-truck. And we, we were there at the storage facility when it arrived. It was so exciting. We put it away. It's huge. It's heavy. It's difficult to set up. Do you have a I place mean, to put it? Are they going to let you do it at Astro? Or? No, 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 they won't no. let us do it at Astro. What we want to do sucks because now you're going to have to get a place to do it. Try hook up with like a, a rec center or something, like See, a local rec center. we're trying to get the money. We're trying to get um, the money to the funds to be able to get our own place. Be able to set it up, have it there up at, at all times, because it's very. It's like it takes a whole day to put up and down, and that's why they're so rare. Is because a lot of derby ple- leagues, uh, what they do is that they practice, they play flat track, and then the day of about, they have they bring out the bring in the crew and set it up. They set it up, and then they practice for a few hours on it, and then they have their game. So that's how it works in the majority of leagues. It's an ordeal. It it really is. So we want a place where we can always have it up, and I think it'd be we would be. The closest bank track is in Texas. Yeah, that's not good. No, and you know what that would do? That would bring oh. tournaments. Yeah, that would. I can't. I can't imagine money. the opportunity. I think the CO show has a new goal in life. No, it, actually, I mentioned this. Uh, it would be good to have a. Uh, okay, th- right down the street used to be a Kmart. Mm-hmm. Closed yeah. down. Now it's a big empty lot. No, it's a Walmart now. No. Um, a place like that, an inside place, would be good for something like that. It would be. Indoor skate park, indoor yeah. stuff like that. There's a absolutely ridiculously large market for that. There is. But 
the insurance you need to hold yeah, the place. It is a liability yeah. insurance. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot, a lot right. of uh, landlords. So you guys want to open up a building where people come in, beat the shit out of each other, and they're on wheeled shoes. Right. Sounds right. great. Let's do it. Nothing yeah. could go wrong. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we, uh, we've done some fundraisers, f- fundraisers like car washes and stuff to try to get money. For, for venue, we have the bank track. It's purchased. It's just sitting in a storage facility That's right step now. one. We're hoping, yeah, exactly. We're hoping um, next season, next year, maybe it'll be up and running. We think it'll bring people from far and wide, um, leagues who want to play on it. You know, we'll charge them a pretty penny for it. I mean, it's it's definitely, there's a lot of uh, possibilities. And that's what I was getting at with the, is there a national, like, oversight? Like, is there a national roller derby league, if you will? Like an RDLB. I really, honestly, I don't, I'm very familiar with local roller derby. I don't know how, how high up it can get, mm-hmm. but it can. I mean, I could never imagine. Because I know just from looking at your guys' site and, and messing around looking at roller derby stuff, it seems to be a sport like some of those up-and-coming sports that are trendy and things that come up. I'm not saying roller derby is a trendy thing that's going to go away. I'm just saying, like, there's pockets of it, like, it's in New York. It's in California. It's in You're Texas. Right. It's in Florida. Like it's in England. In, it's, and it's I was just wondering if there was areas. something that ties you all together. Um, all right, well, we'll find out. I mean, maybe we, next week for what's new with you, we'll have that. <laughs> like we we travel. We've played. We've been to Miami, Ocala, um, Lakeland. Um, Do you ever go out of state? No, we haven't gone out of state not yet. yet. Um, well, you know, there's always a opportunity. We have not gone out of state. Um, September sixth, we will be Miami will be coming to play us in Pinellas Park. Uh, last time we played them, uh, was a few months ago. Talk some shit. And I, I wasn't there. I couldn't have been there because uh, we have our game Sunday nights, and I really didn't want like I didn't want. So that, give up here's my, how you phrase that. It was so bad. It was such a beatdown, brother, that I didn't even have to show up. Brother. That's it. Well, oh, we did win. Hulk Hogan. Speaking of which, birthday celebration last night on Raw, NWO, Paul Orndorff, Ric yep. Flair, Roddy Piper, all of them showed up. It's very heartwarming. Okay, so uh, do yeah. you guys ever have like national tournaments or anything like that too? Mm, not. See, we got to get into this. We got to make this happen. See, we, yeah, I know. It, it'd be really neat. No, we don't have national tournaments. We like, could be your managers. I'll come out with a megaphone and a stupid jacket with your face painted onto oh, it. Jimmy Hart. He'll come out, shave male pattern baldness into his head with a long mullet with some yellow golden slippers. Dude, this oh is gonna be good. God. This is gonna be good stuff. Okay. Can I at least wear red and black or white and black and W yeah, colors? That's fine. You can be Hollywood. Red, black and orange. Black, black and orange. orange. Black and orange. Black colors. and orange. Black and orange. Yeah. Just like the song. No. <laughs> yeah. There's no. There's no like with us. We we haven't like been into any like nationals or anything. But I'll wear panties on my helmet. I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's no big deal for me. And uh, in October we'll have our. Yeah. When is the season? Because you said the when the season it starts um, roughly in March, March April. And then we end it like um, home finisher in October. Seven month season. No Seven big deal. Months. So we have a pretty good season. We play about a uh, about a month. We have about each month, and um, you know it's always at Astro Skate in Pinellas Park on 66th Street. Usually we have them Sunday nights, um, unless otherwise noted on our website SaintPeteRollerDerby.com. Uh, August 24th is our next bout. It'll be a home game, Catastrophics versus the Hot Rod Hotties. We'll be there. And, yeah, you guys are going to be, be there, which I'm really excited for. Um, I think it's going to be neat. Uh, I spoke to one of the owners about it. I asked her. She's like, yeah, uh, you know, your friends just got to bring their setup and everything. And, you know, um, she's like, yeah, it's good for us. It's good for them. We'll help them out. So she, she seemed pretty interested All about copacetic. it. All copacetic. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. It's a big word for you, intern. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so it's going to be the last, uh, the last home home bout, the catastrophics one, the one before we the hot rod hotties one. So we're it's time for us to take it back, make the score even. No, this so. is free. Take take the time, talk some shit, make it happen. <laughs> you let them bitches know what's it's up. It's going to be yeah. We've been uh, pra- we have um, practice Tuesday and Thursday nights. Um, Technically had practice tonight, missed it to be here, but that's okay because I'm good. like, hey, taking one for the team. Take a night off. Yeah, you're taking one for the team. Yeah, yeah. take a break. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I come back from practice and I'm really beat up, but it's just like, ah, just gotta, gotta beat your bodies to save your soul sometimes. Mm, eloquently said. Yeah, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I love it. Uh, we don't we don't make any money off of it. We just that's do fun. It out of passion. Yeah. Beating the shit out of each other because you enjoy doing it. Uh, yeah, always exactly. looking for new people. 
We're always looking for new recruits. How would new recruits get in touch with you if they were so inclined? You can just show up Tuesday, Thursday nights. Astro Skate. Uh, Astro Skate in Pinellas, Pinellas Park. Park. At 8.30 is when we begin our practice. We start war warming up at 8 o'clock. Practices from uh, technically 8 to 10.30. And, um, Do you have to pay? No, you, um, you don't have to pay, but you, if you don't have skates, you're going to have to rent the skates from the rink. I believe it's about $3. We have and you guys use old school rolling skates, no rollerblades, right? No, no gotcha. inlines. No inlines. Inlines are for speed and agility. Quads are for like, stabilizing kicking yourself. Ass. I'm That's kicking right. ass, exactly. Which, the last time that I was went, probably 10 years old last time I had quads on. I, ca I can't skate. Any, with anything, oh. so I mean, we'll get you on skates. No, nah, I'd look like a fool. Oh. Um, no, we're definitely getting good. you on skates. No, then. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, last time we went, mm -hmm. that's one thing I was surprised about how the announcement was. You know, if you wanted to join, you know, whatever was said, you don't need to know how to skate. You don't need to know how to I skate. I don't understand. You just gotta know how to fall down. That's yeah, I don't understand with with contact and with doing all that type stuff. How not knowing how to skate? Well, you guys lock elbows, right? We don't lock elbows. You never do that? Is that illegal? Is that a penalty? If you lock elbows, like if you're out an elbow and you hit somebody, yeah, it's an elbow. It's a major. You're going to go to the, the sin bin. You don't want to do that. Well, we want, we want if, you, if you don't want to skate, we're always looking for NSOs, non-skating officials, to volunteer to help us out, be part of the game. You get in the game for free that way. You get to do something. You right, get we're to officially involved. NSOs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just became NSOs. <laughs> officially. And, um, but if you, don't, you don't have to know how to skate. We train you. There's a training committee. Um, you work with Coach Carb. She's really great. She's been skating for years. Coach Carber. Car Carburetor, short for carburetor. And That's uh, good. yeah, we train you. We train you how to hit, how to skate, how to fall, how to hit. I mean, I've I noticed you said how to hit twice. Hit. We train you. Yeah, you guys it, like hitting. It's, it's we love. <laughs> hey, it's part of the game. <laughs> it's how you get ahead in the game. It's good. So you can come Tuesday and Thursday night at 8:30 at Astro Skate Mills Park. Talk What's to your uh, Facebook page? The Deadly Rival Derby. Deadly Rival Roller Derby at Astro. All right. We have a couple pages. Like them all. Friend them all. Um, you get information about the next games and so forth. Any events we have coming up? Any fundraiser fundraising events? And you just have to show up. We have loaner gear for you. We have helmets and everything. Uh, bring a mouth guard, though. We don't have mouth guards. Mouth guards for gross. you. Yeah, you'd probably want yeah, to yeah. imagine yeah. borrowing a hey, mouth can guard. Can I borrow? Can I borrow it a jock and a you. mouth guard? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't even fit you. Um, it wouldn't fit your teeth properly. So bring that, um, your ID. You know, you have to be at least you 18, to, 18 to do it. Right? Exactly. Right. Um, There's a caveat. Yeah, you have to be at least 18. It used to be 21, but they lower the age. What do you point at me for? I'm just using good words the for verbiage. you. The verbiage. Verbiage. Oh. Actions <laughs> speak louder than words. I, I think, uh, well. yeah, and big words are the something of a small mind. I think that's a thing. Um you look like you're about to fall asleep there, intern. She's yeah. comfy. Yeah, I'm not She's really out. connected with this conversation. Air Cav will be happy. Oh, she she was uh, she was actually looking up that uh, official said Robin Williams hung himself. Yeah, he hung yeah, himself I with his belt in case anyone didn't know. I don't want to interrupt you guys. It's but okay. Um, he was, it was released that he was found with a belt tied around his neck. Yeah. And it was actually one end around his neck, one end around a door. Closet door closet frame. Door. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. If he also he cut had himself. Been suffering in the past, mm -hmm. the weeks prior to that, um, from major depression, and mm -hmm. he was actually being treated for it. So. You said, and he cut himself. Yeah. Last yeah, thing I read, he had cut marks on his wrists and wrist arms, wrist exactly. and they found like a pocket knife or something. Yep, that was right. It was brutal. Spot. So that's brutal. not. That's was not really. Remember going what we were in. talking about last time? The attention suicide attempt. That wasn't an attention suicide attempt. That, that dude was wanted to results. kill himself. Yeah. That's. Go for the gold. The real deal. Yeah. Just. It had to be up the road, not across the street. Yeah, it's, remember, it's down the alley, yeah. not across the road. That's it. Yeah, I, I they, uh, when I was listening to the radio this morning, they were talking about how it could be uh, auto uh, erotic asphyxiation. Yeah. Say it one more time. But auto erotic asphyxiation. <laughs> yeah, son of a bitch. What's up, nerd? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Aluminum. <laughs> What did he say when, when he said testicles at one time? Testicular cancer. Testicular cancer. Nard. Nard uh, and medicine, auto man. Auto erotic asphyxiation. Auto erotic I literally can't say asphyxiation. I can say it now. Asphyxiation. So that's your aluminum. Don't think too much. No, that's it's fantastic aluminum. because earlier I was having trouble saying it. And he was just I, looking I was at me like I was an idiot because I, I couldn't. Say doing it. No. Auto erotic asphyxiation. 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 Close enough. Close enough. 
That's it good. wasn't that, though. That just made me so excited that you were messing up that word. Like, I had to grab your mic because I forgot that I had my own oh. mic. Oh, she grabbed the mic, yeah. Speak into it, m'lady. <laughs> Moving right, on. So what's that? That's it, I think. I think that's it. No so, quiz uh, tonight. No what? No quiz tonight, you know? No, no quiz tonight. No quiz tonight. I don't think we'll have a quiz next week either. Uh, are we doing one before the before road August derby? 24th? I'm down. Huh? Yeah. Why not? Uh, hopefully, we can get, maybe, we can get Justin on. One of them. We'll get one of the. We'll get some. We'll, we'll get a Valerie. One of the on. Flake brothers. Uh, <laughs> we'll get somebody on. Um, and then uh, next time we'll be on. After that will be the roller derby on the 24th. Right. I'm excited. I'm it's going to be excited. fun. So hopefully, yeah, about, about a week, eight, nine days from now. And then after that, about, I think it's 12 days. Ex yeah, what is it? 12? Today about 12 days. 12. Yeah, you got 12 so days. So about 12 days. Exactly. 12 what days. night is this? It's a Sunday night. It's a Sunday night, right? It's a Sunday night. Sunday okay. Night, yes. Yeah. Intern might not be present. Have it Air Cav will be yet. pleased. So, Air Cav yeah, zero dig zero in your six. mouth, guy. <laughs> you might want to listen in on that <laughs> one. For what? Well, roller derby night. Roller she said she's not going to be there. Yeah. She's okay, saying okay. Air Cav will be pleased. If I'm not present, it's okay. Oh, so yeah, Air Cav 006, you're the man. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. We will, uh, what? A.K.A. dick in your mouth guy. Oh, that's God. what I'm going to refer to him that's, as. All right, well. Apparently that's what Air Cav is Latin for. <laughs> dick, in, dick in the mouth. <laughs> I was wondering that. Yeah, I Googled it. I looked it hey. up. Air Cav. I'll find out who he mouth. is. I know him. I'll bring him on the show. Maybe we'll have a we'll have a showdown. A that's debate. That's not going to be good. Can you imagine a debate? A debate. It's we'll, not we'll going to be good. We'll have to rename the studio to the debatatorium. <laughs> I like hey, we didn't mention the accommodator tonight. Just no, throw that out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ethan, we didn't buy uh, one. Hopefully, yet, right? Ethan will be on soon. Weird how those go together. Yeah, what? Ethan will be on. There. We haven't purchased the accommodator yet, right? No. Okay. It's too expensive. Let me I check think. Craigslist for a used one. It's like one. twenty probably bucks, get, I think, for an expensive one. That what? twenty dollars for an expensive yeah, one? Yeah, because when I for an on Amazon, anything is cheap. Amazon. Ah, I have Prime, free shipping. Let's do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that? We won't have too much longer. <laughs> Just we a mere twenty dollars separating us from glory. Ugh. All right, so uh, until next week. Until next week. Black Silk, thanks for coming. Oh, it was a pleasure. So happy to be here. Thank you for having me.